All right, everyone, so we are back, picking up exactly where the last part left off, and this will be my last video of today. I've done about 60, 60 parts of The Witcher 3 in the first uh, in the first five days that's been out, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get through this quest line, but we'll see. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. That was highly, uh, highly weird. She gave off a truly fake laugh and apparently yeah, were being watched or something. An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? She up. And I've not seen him since. What? Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> I've got to pay for his way into Pasa Flora once. I need to wake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Huh. It's probably Siri. I bet you anything in the world that he's helping Siri. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. The Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Why was there two of them at bugger all to do here? Heading back to the rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home and go. Take care, bro. Alright. So that should just about level me up almost, man. Yeah. That almost leveled me up to level twelve. Alright, well that was a long, boring-ass quest, but I got a ton of experience points out of it, so I can't complain too much. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So, we are on yet another quest. Yeah. 
Yet another quest to go talk to yet more people. Get out of my way, bitch. Alright, where the hell am I going? Alright, apparently I'm just going straight down the street, so it's not bad. So I have to go to a bathhouse and talk to his Siggy Rubin. Who is apparently a fat bastard with a gimpy left leg or something like that. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Huh. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. This is gonna be a trap or something, man. I guarantee you, this is gonna be a trap. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's yeah, go. right. I'm not gonna leave anything, motherfucker. You double chin, look. Dude has double chin. Alright, so... What? I have to leave all my stuff here? Splendid. Yeah, I'm Secure butt naked. In the next room. Oh! Nice bum you have. <laughs> Holy cow. He doesn't blush. Wow. Hey, ladies. Wow, that chick's pretty cute. Finally, man. We're Finally seeing some ladies. Yes. Look at all these topless chicks in here. Those look uh those look kind of fake, man. Those are much too perky. They sh they really need to work on the graphics of boobs and give them some uh give them some weight and make them jiggle a little bit. <laughs> Holy cow, man. There's a bunch of hot chicks in here. The only thing is, all of these women look the same. Let me jump in this bathtub with all of them. Yeah, all of these chicks look like uh, identical twins. Look at the tits on that chick. Holy cow, man. Look at these chicks in here, man. They have like huge jugs. Not attractive at all. What kind of plants are in here? Hand fiber. Yes, let me gather some uh, ingredients and stick them in my robe. Alright, let's go talk to this dude. I like his style so far, though. You know, you walk in his joint and you're surrounded by naked women. Easy, Cleaver. Orson Jr. is a dead man. 
I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? <sighs> Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Ruvin, whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Oh shit. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Ah, here we go. It's about to get real up in the bathhouse. This bathhouse is about to turn into a bloodhouse uh, pretty damn quick. First ever body with my prick hanging out. <laughs> Poor son Junior sent these assassins, huh? Look at they just ruined the whole party here, man. And I got another trophy. I think that's only like my sixth trophy uh trophy this entire game. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were poor son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior is going to help me find someone. Orson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. <laughs> Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, <laughs> find Horse Sun, find me first. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. 
Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Yay, more talking. That's just what I wanted to do. Should be like the Witcher right, 3. That was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible Choose for your own adventure. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part. And that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, when I pick up with this playthrough, we'll try to start from around this point and carry on with this questline. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my video. And feel free to comment down below and hit that thumbs up if you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you.